Cancer. Hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will absolutely love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive right in, Cancer, and let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. One more shuffle here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Chariot could not wait to get out there. Universe is saying you are going to be successful. You tap into that inner willpower, okay? That's that third chakra. You just got to go for it. You got this. There is nothing for you to fear. All you need to know right now is that the energy and the experience and the environment that you're undertaking is building your strength, building your confidence. You're in, involved in certain experiences and situations, again, that might pose adversity but the thing is is this is what you need to go through to get yourself to the next level if we're not constantly trying new things uh, facing a level of challenge then we're never going to grow right and universe is saying it is time to grow it is time to expand it is time to evolve you are being uh, you're th you're a healer right at the end of the day you are a healer cancer and so what's important for you now is to remember that okay remember who you are and remember why you're out here remember why you're doing this remember why you're on this journey is to help others is to be the best version of yourself is to uh, um, be present, be mindful, um, connect, heal, um, you know, uh, bring joy, you know, bring, bring relief, right? And, and remind yourself of that. Remind yourself of that because a lot of the times we can get really um, overwhelmed and overstimulated here in this world and we lose track of what it is we're even doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when we remind ourselves of who it is that we are and why we're doing these things, then it always allows us to come together. Now, the universe is saying that you're already a master at what you're doing, Cancer. Remember that the experience that you faced is, is, is it makes you the master, okay? Now, Every master always has opportunity to grow. So universe is saying it might be a good time to pick up a new skill, maybe learn something, maybe collaborate with, with a team or uh, uh, join a class or a course or just something that might make you feel like you're expanding, progressing, evolving, learning something new. Whenever we're learning something new, we are so in alignment with ourselves because it's, it's in our DNA to create, right? We came here to create, we came here to evolve and universe is saying this is the right time. Now you're ready for the next phase of the game and whenever again things feel maybe feel a bit stagnant or we feel like mm, I don't know if I'm like I'm good with what I'm doing but I feel like there could be something a, a new element or I could be doing something more like whenever we have that feeling it always means the universe is like it's time to evolve so that's when you want to be really mindful you want to be paying attention to your YouTube feed. You want to be paying attention to what people say. So a lot of the times, maybe our intuition will guide us towards a certain video or a, a magazine cover or uh, looking up a website, but just anything, whatever your intuition guides you towards, don't deny it, go with it. Because a lot of the times there's a, a, a book recommendation that we would have never um, come to, or there's maybe a, a video we see and that one little piece of information is something that we needed to hear in order to progress us on our journey. You know what I mean? So just don't second guess where your intuition is guiding you towards because you are on the journey of healing yourself at the same time as healing others and the universe has always got your back and the momentum is on your side you, again you are evolving and you are healing those childhood wounds but right now is the time to just again persevere and remember that you being in touch with your true authentic intuitive self is always going to bring forward opportunities because when you're in tune with your higher self it really means that you are open in the in your in the receival mode right you're in the receival mode mode of love because when you're in tune with your higher self it means that you literally remember who you are and why you're here and when that happens you are in a very fulfilled energy and when we are having a good time and we are passionate and having fun and feeling fulfilled that's when new opportunities come and I can see you have some new opportunities headed your way and that's why universe is saying keep going cancer learn what you have to learn build those skills collaborate with whoever you got to collaborate just know that you are going to be achieving the success and the rewards that you deserve all you have to do is keep moving forward universe sees all universe sees all and that's why there's a um 
a saying, the more you give, the more you get. And it could not be truer. It, 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 whether it is a smile, smiling at somebody when you're walking down the street, right? Feeling a little vulnerable and giving a smile, even when you're feeling a little hesitant. So I'll smile at someone, you know what I mean? Uh, bring forward a experience or a gift that you can bring. You know, maybe bring humor to the office meeting or, um, or, or coffee or a basket of something. You know what I mean? Anything that resonates with you, but the more we give, the more we get. And truly from a vibrational point too, because this universe operates on evolution and creation and expansion. And whenever we bring, you know, whenever we pay it forward with, with fun or humor or a little something, you know, just anything, you know, it, we always get rewarded for it. And again, the universe really truly sees all. And that's why on your journey as an empath and as a healer, a lot of the times this can be very challenging for us because we have to break free of, free, excuse me, of those programs that made us feel unworthy in the first place. But when we start to instead look at ourselves and think, I can't do this, I'm terrified, I'm not worthy, I'm not this, I'm not that, I don't have experience. We're pointing the flashlight on ourselves and we're looking at it from a very I, 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 I. It's very separated. It's more ego. And when we can point that flashlight outwards and we can start saying, well, I want to help these people. I want to bring my experiences and, and hopefully help somebody that was in my position. And even if what I say, they might not resonate with it all. At least if they take something away from it, at least I planted a seed. At least I've given some, uh, you know, light of hope. You know what I mean? If we start to look at our lives and think, how can I bring joy to these, uh, those around me? How can I bring my experience? That is is when a flood of opportunity is going to flow into your life. And I can see that it's just waiting to enter your life. I feel like something really new and exciting is headed your way. And it only comes when we are ready for it. So again, the more that we embrace where we currently are in our journeys, on our in our life, then the faster the universe can bring us more. It's always when we're like, I want more of this. I'm not where I want to be. You know, we're complaining. The universe is like, you're not ready. You're not ready because you're not embracing where you currently are. So whatever we present to you, you won't even see it because you're complaining about what you already have. So you won't even see opportunity even if it did come forward. You know what I mean? So that's why it's really important to just embrace where you are. Learn more about what you're doing. Become the best version of yourself in this time so that the universe can present itself with these beautiful, new, exciting, things that they can't wait to give you ultimately bringing forward a lot of confidence and a lot of action and adventure and that's why universe is validating with for with the hummingbird spirit be present be super present cancer don't worry about the past and don't worry about the future that's not yours to worry about the past happened but you're not currently in the past and whenever we think about the past we reprogram our subconscious to remember those memories and we don't need to do that anymore because we're not there it's not reality it's not real this is like a video game and we're we're in real time right Right? Real time here. So we want to be present and mindful now because also when we are present, we are constantly in connection with our spirit guides and with the universe. And if we are not present, it's sort of like giving the cold shoulder to our angels. You know what I mean? It's like, well, all of a sudden we disconnected from them. You know what I mean? Well, it's almost like we think we can do it without them. And that feeling is very lost and very lonely. And that is when we start to feel like we're not able to do it. We feel unworthy. We feel like we can't because we're literally disconnected from our team. It's like we're lost alone in the woods. You know what I mean? So reconnect, be present and feel them in your heart and just know that every uh, every great journey is always a process. So just know slow and steady really wins the race. I know that we want that step 50 right now, but we got to go through the phases. We got to go through the steps because every single day is an opportunity to learn something new. Every single day is an opportunity for growth and expansion. And if we were, if we were really at that stage 50, you know, and we weren't, we, we hadn't gone through the process, it would be terrifying. We would not be ready for it. You know what I mean? Think of where you are today. And then think of where you were two years ago. Imagine you were like, or a year ago, even six months ago. You know what I mean? Think of yourself six months ago and think, would I be ready to handle where I'm at today? Six months ago, would I have been ready? Probably not. Right. You, it was the journey that built you to where you are. It's like, it's like not training before going into a battle. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to do the training, you know? So just be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself along the way and just know universe has got everything covered. All you have to worry about is just taking care of yourself, taking care of your health, and ultimately know that connecting to others is going to be the best foot forward. So if you need help, if you 
need support, you know, in anything, right? In anything, if you need support, reach out uh, to those who can help you. Maybe let your guides know, I need help in this energy, in this area. Can you please help me? I wait patiently, you know, and they'll usually come through in the in, in that day, the next day, you know what I mean? With some advice or with something that can really come true or just listen to your intuition and they'll speak through your intuition. But ultimately know that with the balance card coming forward, it is time to make sure that you are taking care of yourself, Cancer. Don't overstress this, okay? Again, it is a process and it is unfolding and it is going to work out for you. But right now it's important for you to make sure you're relaxing if you need to, indulge a little more if you need to, or indulge a little less if you need to, but ultimately set those work boundaries, okay? Whenever we come from an energy of I should do this or I should do that, got to try harder, got to do more, I need to be doing more. Um, what you need to be doing is relaxing, beautiful soul, because the more you relax, the more you receive the guidance. And the more we relax, the more we're able to know what comes next. Whenever we're trying to force something, it means that we are, um, we're not happy with where we currently are and we need to accept where we are so that the more we want to come comes, right? Again, it's a process. So accept where you are, appreciate where you are, just enjoy the ride and just know that everything will unfold as it's supposed to. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.